Alright, this is a minigun. Here you're going to see a quick render of it. As it shoots, you can notice it uh, ejects the canisters and it can also work with another asset called the VFX Debris. So we're going to do a quick run through of how that, uh, how that all works together. So you can see it's pre-textured and by default there is a, a ground plane for the bullet casings to fall uh, onto and uh, a wall for, you know, for the target to hit. And as it hits it does uh, create de debris over there. The debris is another asset, but it's uh, free from the uh, Orbolt asset store. There's a control that is used to aim the gun, so this control could be parented to uh, a target or just animated uh, you know, keyframe by hand. As you can see, as I move this aim, it moves the target, the gun positions itself, and uh, the bullets hit in the appropriate place. And there you can see the collision grid. So that's the default object that's in there, but you could drag and drop your own in, and I'll demonstrate that in a bit. And here I'm just uh, moving the uh, target manually and adding some keyframes. You notice it's firing a fair bit, but there, aren't, there isn't a lot of damage coming onto that wall. You might expect some more bullet hits. So we can just turn up the rate of fire, and that'll, uh, which is controlled with the trigger. Here, it's, uh, when we turn it off, you'll see it. Nothing happens. We're going to turn that up, 15, and you can see um, a lot more bullets fly out. So that determines your uh, higher rate of fire, and uh, also more uh, bullet impacts against the wall. And there you see the update. So this is all built, um, this is all happening procedurally and it's uh, updating uh, each time. So, and you can keyframe all these depending on your scene. Uh, and there's a lot of uh, other options. So we can turn off the smoke and uh, the various parts can be hidden and changed for the purposes of rendering. Sometimes you want them as separate elements so you can add them on as a, uh, you know, slightly blurred or slightly, uh, just have more control while you're compositing. And here I've turned off the uh, ammo box. There's also a couple different um, types of uh, geometry options. So if you wanted to put it on a helicopter, you'd use the window mount. I mentioned that this also uses the VFX Debris tool. So that tool, that asset, um, does allow you to specify your own materials for the debris. Uh, so it could match your scene. And it has its own sets of controls, such as having um, larger chunks uh, coming out. Uh, a wall in terms of like bits of concrete flying over uh, or just changing their color. So here I'm just demonstrating uh, a new material and how uh, quickly that can be applied. And go down to where the debris is and just assign the new material which we've just created. And it's about as simple as that. see that there and here the uh, default material will be white but you know we can just change it to brown or anything else and of course as we render that would update in our scene immediately next I want to show you how um, this background geometry can be replaced so by default it's got this default collision object but uh, more likely you're going to want to uh, have your own plane in there or maybe a building or something else that's being hit. So the ground is the collision grid. And this can be hidden or changed. So, um, so our bullet collision grid is the wall that we hit and the spent casings fall on the ground. We're applying a new grid going to translate over there and I want you to see how uh, easily your collision objects can be uh, changed to suit your own scene. So we created the grid here and I go back I select my gun, I'm gonna, uh, scroll up here to where it says the bullet collision object 
the thing I want to shoot at. I drag my grid there, and it's as simple as that. Rewind, hit playback, and the new object is being shot. So in your scene, you might have something like, a, I don't know, a car or something like that. Or maybe a little more complicated model. This is where you bring it in. 